Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ray Torn and welcome back to Millennia. So let's go to enter turn, continue advancing through the Age of Alchemy. Should hopefully be moving to the next age in this episode, but perhaps not because we're, we're kind of delaying moving to that age. You know, just knocking out some of the old text, some things that we uh, had neglected getting. And we're doing this war as well. So we got something to distract us in the meantime. So we're gonna go ahead and attack the city. You can see that they have five city militia. And so it's gonna be a draw, 100% chance that it's a draw. And we do uh, we do get this penalty from attacking from C where you have like half of the attack power. So that's a reason why we're not winning. We would probably be able to win this in one attack. But yeah, as you can see it, uh, you know, it didn't go well. All of our line units are pretty depleted at this point. We're in fact probably going to have to put them back on land, let them heal up. Because they do not heal up here at sea. Because it's the ship and their their health. And so we'll have to put them back uh, onto this area here and let them heal. Might send another unit to do the attack to try and finish this up. Yeah, we did not do a ton of damage. This is a pretty strong location when you think about it, simply because there's no other way to attack it but by sea. So let's go ahead and attack with, you know, I think we're gonna bring our most powerful army over here. Well, this army will probably go after the, yeah, I think they're gonna have to go after the city. Nobody else can do it. Well, these guys are gonna have to heal up. And so they'll advance down this road and attack this city here. Although we're looking at an army in this location let me see if we just want to go ahead and knock this out. There's a 100% chance of winning. They do have stone towers. And so if we attack here, we'd win and we'd be far enough from the city they couldn't attack us. I'm really not too worried about these guys, though. And if they come into this area, we can use those stone towers to, to bombard them. And so I think it's better to just go ahead and take the city in this case. I'm just going to get it done. That's really what it comes down to is taking the cities. And you can see they focused all their attack on the armored vehicle, which is exactly what you want to see happen because it's almost impossible to defeat this. Sounds pretty powerful, guys. In some ways, it's more powerful than the tank because the tank doesn't have stats like that. Instead, it has, uh, you know, it's very good at attacking. Yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. I'd never used these before. So they seem uh, far more powerful than you would think because they don't have any attack. All right, so there's another little island over here. Let's go and uncover it real quick to see see what's on here. Okay, so nothing too exciting. You got some uh, tobacco on there, and that's it. All right, so these guys are wrapping up around here. Very close to finishing this continent up, as you can see. And we would have gone completely around the continent. I guess you got this area here. Yeah, we're not completely done. Still collecting the Arcana. We spent a good chunk of Arcana in the previous turn. Now, I don't know that we need to have this many of these alchemists now. Simply because, as we've seen, there's a cap on that. I might have this ship... Go ahead and start uncovering this. And then these guys who were wrapping around the continent, they'd come through here and just reveal whatever's in this area here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Have them start making their way up here. So we can get the, the entire continent, its coastline, revealed. Let me get this Arcana. And then our explorers here, I do want to see if they have done the expedition in Sahara Desert. They have not. Okay, well that's interesting, because they actually have an explorer right here. I wouldn't be surprised if they're currently doing it right now. So I'm going to see if I can at least start it. I mean, we could get some bonuses, but now you got to look at it. Uh, do you want to actually try and get the percent chance up when there's a good chance that you're not going to be able to complete it? Although maybe they fail. There's always that chance as well. But maybe not spend like warfare experience. Maybe just well. Yeah, I think that might be what we do. We don't really need the Diplomacy XP, so we'll, we'll spend the wealth and get the percentage chance up there. And you never know, they could end up failing it. So let's go and send these guys somewhere along this coastline. Could settle up here in the north. There's some elephants. Piss off the Egyptians. That would be a choice. 
You're not going to get a lot here. Yeah, you got the fish, you got the elements. So you could go there. There's a little patch here. It's not the worst. Put it there, they'll eventually get over to the islands there. So that would be a choice. And there's this little hatch here. I don't know how much you'd be able to get before the two French cities would uh, close it in here. But that's what I'm thinking for right now, guys. Uh, how many settlers do they have here? I think it's just the one. Let me just double check here. Because I know we have another settler. Or I thought we did. Let me just double check. If we still got that settler standing by. We do. I think we're going to change this up. And maybe take out... An explorer unit. And go ahead and instead have them join up here. And we'll have them start trekking towards that territory. Uh, so yeah, we actually have a settler here as well that we're planning on establishing somewhere in this island chain. But I need to know what's over here. I want to say there's another... Let me just take a look. We'll go through all these and see if we've got another ship in the area. And these guys are going to set up their trade over here. Let's do the continue move. So here's the other ship I was looking for. So they're going to come over here and uncover this territory just to see what's over there. So we might want to wait with these guys. And we do need to destroy that though, so you could go ahead and work on that. You know, put your explorer on there. And uh, hero, get that wiped out. Because eventually you know you want to do it. So we got the hero, the explorer. They have three explorers. Okay, so or excuse me, two explorers. And so let's go ahead and do the attack. It, it's better to attack a unit than to attack the barbarian camp because we've seen the penalties that they get. I mean, they might not even do that well against these guys. We'll have to see. They did okay, but they didn't uh, do enough to actually win there. Yeah, doing the invasions, if you will, are a bit more challenging. Alright, so these guys here, do we want to go ahead and start wiping them out while we wait to uncover all this? Because we do have this additional ship over here that can uncover this way. And just figure out where we want to set up, but uh, do the same that we did in the other area. Just take the, not the Pioneer. He's not going to do well there. Uh, the Hero, the Explorer, and this Explorer here. Go ahead and do this attack. Uh, they should be able to defeat this one unit. And then get the rest of these wiped out, take out the Barbarian Camp. It's all getting us some warfare experience as well. Um, so these guys here are moving to Kyoto. And you know what? I think we're going to spawn a settler in Kyoto. Uh, there's another way we could have done it. We could have also have gotten the, the merchants, I suppose, and then turned them into the settler. But it's fine. Kyoto's got plenty of population. We're going to go ahead and establish a colony over here. You know, a, a vassal city. Just because it's going to take forever for Kyoto to expand over here because it's all desert. Uh, Rome's never going to get this far over here. Same thing with uh, Ostia. It's going to take a really long time anyways. And these are just outposts. And you know, even though it's a terrible location, which it is, it's an absolutely garbage location, it's a vassal, so it doesn't really matter that much. And frankly, I don't want anybody else establishing a city there. Obviously, that wouldn't be uh, desirable. Uh, let's just go ahead and have these guys skip their turn. And move on to the next one. So we got a lot going on with uh, the warfare. We're colonizing islands and other locations. And uh, we're also invading Persia at the moment. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure who they just attacked there. Maybe a barbarian. Wasn't one of our units. Alright, so Settler, moving on up over here, and just bringing this guy, just in case there's anybody here, there could be. Uh, we do have a lot of money that we could spend, by the way. Should have looked to see if we could have rushed out whatever that building was a Gaul. You know, use our money for that. And... Just making sure we're collecting all this, though. We're already at 158, stacking that up pretty quickly. And we'll go out just a little bit just to uncover what's over here. It looks like there is another island, but uh, again, nothing exciting. Uh, that's just the case with all the islands in the game. Just very disappointing. I hope they improve the islands. Uh, I know I've said that a few times. Hey, look at this. That guy took off. Did he finish it? No, he didn't finish it. Maybe he wasn't even working on it, which is kind of silly. Maybe they don't prioritize doing these. 
And we've seen that they do do them because there are several expeditions that have been done that we didn't do. Uh, but for whatever reason, that guy didn't do this one. Okay, that's strange. Uh, I don't want to use the engineering XP here. Let's uh, just take the risk. We'll see how that goes. We do have two explorers there, so if the one fails, the other one can uh, work on it. Of course, you don't want to waste all those goodies, but... All right, so let's go ahead and put these guys back on land. Let them heal up, because again, they're not they're not doing well. And then we'll do this attack again with a more stronger army that has those tanks where we don't rely on the attack. And these guys are damaged. Yeah, they're gonna go after that. That's kind of interesting how they always tend to go after the armored vehicle first. They are actually doing damage to the armored vehicle. It actually does decrease the defense. Yeah, the defense is, is half. So they might be able to actually get it destroyed. Because they're definitely not going to force it to retreat. Uh, we actually won that. I feel like the armored vehicle saved the day because nobody else took any damage. Alright, so that has allowed us to take their city. Excellent. And is this a little army of explorers over here? It is. Alright, hopefully they don't attack these guys. Uh, in fact... We could go ahead and upgrade. Yeah, that's that was one of the weaknesses here is we hadn't upgraded these yet. So that'll help them. So we'll go ahead and do exactly that. And then these guys, I suppose we'll attack them now. Yeah, they're all healed up, looking good. I was going to attack that army, which seems to be mostly catapults. They do have an old pike unit here. Yeah, really not much of a threat, guys. Just took them out pretty easily. So the war against Persia, thus far, going pretty well. All right, so I have this guy recover or uncover what's in this island here. So it's it's a fortile island, but it's one that's in like a line, so not a great place. For colonizing. All right, so now that these guys are done here, we're gonna have them dip over this way. Start heading west and cover all that area. And then these guys can go ahead and start moving over here. All right, so with them established on land, let's take out the barbarian camp first. So you don't have to worry about them spawning any more units. And it also gets us some bonuses here. You know, I feel like the chaos is worth it for a social fabric wild card, especially because we're getting tons of chaos anyways. So it's gonna fire no matter what uh, because we're taking all these cities. So let's go ahead and do that. And that allows us to invest probably in community to deal with uh, unrest. Because we, we, we see that arch is going up so slow. And so that automatically gives you a negative five. I wonder if they might have adjusted that. It used to be a little bit more, I think. But still, you can really stack that up. You know, if it's negative five for each of these and there's ten, that's negative fifty. And that's still very helpful. And so that should make an immediate impact in some of our uh, cities where unrest is starting to stack up a little bit. We're currently getting 0.8 from the war unrest, so it's already starting to add in there. It's not a lot right now, but that'll continue to get worse. And so getting that social fabric uh, really will help us out. All right, so we did finish constructing this unit here. So as far as what we need next, well, I think it's just gonna be one turn of working on our projects because we're soon gonna have more buildings unlocked. And so maybe just, I don't know if it makes sense to do knowledge. I don't really need anything else either though. Yeah, I guess we'll just do knowledge. It's fine, it'll, it'll overflow to the next uh, next tech. Over here in Gaul, we got the throne room finished constructed. All right, excellent. Um, so for their next building, could do the barracks for more war experience. Don't really feel like we need the improvement points anymore. Maybe do the museum. You know what, let's go ahead and work on that museum. And then we can get the alchemy school. The perfume shop would be good for a little bit of luxury. Probably not the best way to get luxury, but would help. And you know what, I do need to make sure that the unit that we constructed here joins this army. And you know what, wouldn't it be a bad idea to have Ravenna construct... Yeah, you know what, since we got Rome doing the treaties... Let's have Ravenna construct their own army as well. And we'll just go ahead and start. We'll start with this guy here. Because we're going to need these armies kind of dotted all over the map. 
to deal with the revolutions. And so it'd be really helpful to have a couple armies in different locations. Uh, so the Grand Theater costs 640. I don't know if we want to spend too much rushing. I mean, we're going to have a lot of chaos events. You know, this isn't going to be the only one. We're going to have quite a few, considering the fact that uh, we got a lot of cities to take. So just trying to see if we what we want to get next and if we even have population. We don't. I think that's going to be a major issue. We could pull from the poor house, I suppose, since you don't need the, the wealth as much. Could get more production. You know, taking that copper. That would be an option. Could also get more culture. I'm making wine. Because yeah, we had the rice here and then eventually we'll get the, the grapes. So that would be an option. You know what? Let's go ahead and do. We'll go ahead and make use of the the copper that we have. Although we don't want to do that one, we want to do the last furnace. Take the copper and turn it into ingots, get a bit more production. Constantinople could always use more production. Uh, although it is getting at a decent uh, level at this point. Yeah, you can see unrest is stacking up. It's kind of interesting that we're seeing unrest in, in many locations, despite the fact that it should be decreasing. All right, so these guys are just going to skip their turn. While our army here, well, we've already used them this turn, but yeah, while well, they take over that island. And then this fleet here just going to uncover this island. See what's over here. It looks like, uh, you know, same thing we find everywhere. Around a four, three to four tile island with one resource. It's not exciting. So we're going to do this attack again. I mean, the only reason why we really lost. Well, our hero's not looking good, though. Only reason why we really lost. Oh, damn, the hero died. That's a real shame. All right, so that's a bummer. Just the explorers now. Uh, the real bummer there, of course, is that as that hero got more experience, we we're eventually going to retire them and then uh, get that army experience. But it is what it is. They are a very outdated unit. Yeah, I knew that there was one of those units that was weak, but unfortunately, you can't really tell who it is when they're in the, the transport because you can't see their health. You only see the health of the, the transport ship. Yeah, we needed to uh, we need to get a, a beach hold here, so is what it is. So we can go ahead and spend a bit more of our improvement points. Again, there's there's no cities with uh, any population, spare population. And we saw in Constantinople we didn't have the spare population, but they can pull them for the poor house. There's other locations that might have poor houses as well that can be pulled from. Gaul might have population. So yeah, we can go ahead and do something here. So what I wanted to do is remove that forest location there because we've got some resources we'd like to you know further manufacture so we got the iron the logs i don't know if there's a point on turning it to paper could get more production from it though but as far as production i feel like the the metal chain is a little bit better uh, is food? Eh, food's not too big of an issue. They also have the coastline. I feel like what we need to do here is get some gold. Let's just trade for it. I think it's worth trading for because you're not actually spending any money. You spend two wealth to get it, but they're worth four wealth. And so you're actually gaining four wealth total from this. Of course, you're going to lose the gold. But still, even then, you're only spending four wealth. In order to get... You know, make use of our points here to get that uh, panacea because they don't have one here in Gaul. We've seen just how useful this is with the food and particularly the sanitation. So let's go ahead and get that uh, right here. And so sanitation should not be an issue here for a long time. Quite some time. We don't have to worry about it anymore. I did not use any of our improvement points though. So could, uh, I mean, they did take that one population there, but you still got the one in the poor house and the house. Uh, we could make use of the forest here, but uh, maybe we want to clear some of that too because they do not have a production shortage here. And so, yeah, the, I mean, everything here is for production. You got the mining locations and the forest locations. So you really need to clear, clear some of this out, honestly. Yeah. So that's going to require a lot more engineering XP. And it's not going to be able to do it just yet. Uh, Kyoto... We now have some of the unrest dealt with. Is it good enough for us to go ahead and get the poorhouse? Let's see. Just barely. 
And we're still stacking up the art experience. I think it's fine. Let's get the poorhouse. And so that'll help deal with their housing issues and then they can continue to grow. Is there any other location you might want to spend some of these improvement points? I mean, Kyoto is the place with the lowest efficiency here. And part of that is because of the education. And so we could get a school. But the thing is, is they haven't gotten the museum yet. And that satisfies much of your early education needs. They're probably better to maybe rush out that Grand Theater and start working on the museum. So yeah, it's at this point where improvement points aren't the issue. We could watch these completely stack up. I mean, they probably will. Because population is now our issue. We just don't have the population anymore. And this is something that usually happens much, much, much earlier for me. Where improvement points are just completely stacked up and where the main threat, or the main problem I should say, is the lack of population. And so this happened much later than I'm usually uh, used to. So I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, now we, uh, we're at that point where we don't really have anything to spend the improvement points on. A point that you generally are always going to get to. Uh, you know what, we thought about going over that way, so maybe we should start moving over there. Go up there for first in the north, and then we'll come back south with them to establish in that other location. Alright, so these guys, let's go ahead and have them do this battle here. You can see it's 208, 208 against 50, so we will win this. Though our hero keeps getting uh, weaker. The heroes are outdated, guys, as we've seen. So it might be about time to retire that one. I've been trying to get them as experienced as possible just to get the most warfare experience when we resign them. All right, so we're looking for more Arcana. There's some right here. She doesn't have any move points left, though. And this ship is going over here. Just exploring that coastline. Looking for other Arcana nearby. We already have that guy over there so we'll probably want to have her move north or east and not seeing anything over here might be something around Rome but I'm not actually seeing anything at the moment there's one might be one there as well kinda of hard to tell sometimes around these mines those copper mines in particular so this is the third phase of the Sahara expedition and so our choice here is do we want to for sure be sitting at 70% on the final stage or do we want to take the risk that maybe you get to 100% or maybe you get to 60%. You know what? I think we're just going go with 70% guys. For the for sure 70. And there's a good chance it could have been sitting on 100 but uh, yeah. I mean, if you get that, uh, you know, 20%, then now you're sitting at 60%, and 60% generally seems to fail quite often, unfortunately. All right, so I guess this guy's going to over to here, since we've uncovered that island. So let's come over here and just, you know, just get the clouds uncovered. Not that it's necessary. So we need to establish a town up there. For Kyoto, I guess that'd be where their third town would be. Might have to purchase a town to do that. I do have the ability to claim some territory. All right, so this guy would be going after the barbarian camp next. And then this army here, I suppose we'd be going after, I was gonna say their capital, might be their capital. It does look like the highest population city. So probably their capital. Yeah, it looks, it looks to be. Okay, so do we want to go ahead and take that over? They do have a religion here, by the way. Can't see it because I'm hovering over the olives there. Uh, but yeah, they do have the Hindu religion. And so that could be an issue if we start to see like faith spreading through our territory. Because we do not have the infrastructure for uh, satisfying that need. That's a completely separate need. Now, our key cities are up far up north, so it might not be coming an issue at any time. But yeah, currently... All of our cities are uh, no religion. So do you want to go after that now? Could let them heal up one turn. Because we got our territory right here. So maybe go over here and then heal up. And then if we're going to attack them, you want to go across the river right here and then attack. 
would be the best way to do that. But clearly this army is the best one to do it. I think they're our most powerful army. As far as just that, that little number goes. Alright, let's go and continue exploring. I'm covering this territory here. Uh, I don't know if we want to go over there. Although we do have ship here that's already doing this. Yeah, it's only a matter of time before we'll have everything uncovered here. Alright, so let's go ahead and start heading west with this ship. Doubt there's any islands over here, but, you know, maybe. Alright, so Rena has finished up their construction of that unit, and uh, there are some new buildings that just unlocked from that technology that we got. So let's go ahead and get those. So this is going to require more education. It's it's not exactly a full upgrade because you're, you're uh, losing the Hall of Heroes, which gives you the Exploration XP. So you're trading that for a knowledge and also requiring one education. So, I mean, knowledge is more important than Exploration XP for sure. But it's something to consider that you are losing something there. Well, this one here is just a straight upgrade. You're getting culture and one more foreign import slot. So we'll go to the shopping center. And then let's go and get this army moving out to here. We'll eventually slowly build that, that army out to deal with the Age of Revolution. So Naples has finished up with the Grand Theater, getting us some more art experience. I think we might just do the shopping center here as well. And then Rome needs to change up to get the shopping center. So two turns in all of our cities to, to get that. They all have kind of similar level of reduction right now. Yeah, we did get the society, so that's the shopping center, public library, and the coffee house improvement. You know, I actually want to build that in some of our cities where we have those uh, resources, the tea and the coffee. All right, so it could go with Age of Revolution in six turns. Could go ahead and complete the administration and the finance here. We talked about getting finance for the domestic export slots and the production and the textile mills. And then there's the government one as well, which gets you more influence so your borders will spread quicker. Yeah, let's go ahead and do the finance. It's gonna be two turns to get that. Eventually we do have to move to the age of revolution. Can't avoid it forever. All right, so Constantinople. I wanna get that tea house. I guess we'll put it over, I don't know, just put it over here, I guess. Just filling this whole area out. Uh, so yeah, let's, let's go ahead and get that. You know, it might be easier to find it in here. Um, the coffee house is what's called, not tea house. Uh, it costs 29 specialists, and we're only earning, well, we were earning two return. Uh, we only got up to six there. We definitely need to step up our improvements. Uh, excuse me, our specialist gain. I think we have uh, one location around here that's producing that for us. I think it was in here. But the population is clearly moved. Again, population is, is our issue right now, guys. We just don't have... It might have been... It could have been Constantinople that we had that as well. But yeah, population is, is the issue. Our consistent issue. Got French troops moving everywhere. Could wipe out those explorers if they were to declare hostilities with us. I think we have open borders with them though, so... Let's see how we want to do this. Let's go up here. Uh, they're probably gonna go... Yeah, because you can't attack them this turn. We'll go over here. Try and drive them north, I suppose. And then these guys... Oh, we still need to upgrade them. Yeah, why not? And then this fleet's coming up over here. These guys are just chilling out. Waiting for their, their troops. Uh, you know what? I probably shouldn't have had that hero involved with this again. We won, but he took even more damage. I might want to pull him out and just have the explorers do the next attack. Let him heal up a little bit. Alright, and then these guys, can they win this? It's going to be a draw. You know what, let me uh, have them go back, and then they should just like heal up. You could also use the Exploration XP to heal them up. It's not very expensive. Yeah, you know what, let's just do that. And then we'll just do the attack now. We still have to wait another turn to finish it up. Explorer can't do it on its own. And yeah, just get this Arcana here. 
Because we'll probably be in this age for, I don't know, the six turns to finish the Age of Revolution. And then if we get this, this is one more, and another one's four more. I mean, so it's still kind of a long time, honestly. Before we leave the age. Alright, so almost got this whole coastline explored. So this is the other side of France. So I stretched across the whole continent there. Alright, so is that the only one? Looks like it. So we'll go over there and get that gathered up. Alright, so this is the last stage. And we're at 70%. So a good chance of being successful in getting the warfare experience in the culture. We failed. Of course we did. <laughs> well, at least we got the other guy and we can go ahead and start it over again. Alright, we'll go with the 10% success chance. It's not great there. We failed. Kind of a bummer. 70% chance and uh, we failed. So That's how it goes, I suppose. Alright, so this guy I think is just going down this area. I'm getting this all uncovered. And he's still making his way to Kyoto. Though Kyoto, again, their unrest is is all right for now, but that's going to become more and more of an issue. All right, and then these guys are going to have to do the attack next time without their hero. So they're fully healed, and uh, there actually is an army that's stopping us from advancing. Hmm. So we have to go up around this way. Can we attack the city from there, though? That's the real question. Probably not. I don't even have enough movement points. I guess let's just experiment and see how many movement points we still have left. Yeah, we wouldn't be able to make it, so we'd get bombarded if we go there. And we get bombarded if we go there, so we're just gonna stay here and attack in the next turn. Let's not rush it. I don't know if this is where this guy was even going, but this is where he's going now. Yeah, because you got that guy going over there. And then this ship here is exploring west, uncovering all this area. All right, so we could rush some stuff out. There's going to be a chaos event soon, but you have the the money to rush something out. 941 there. Uh, we talked about rushing out for uh, Kyoto, though. So let's go ahead and do that. Rush that out and then get the museum now, since they don't have the, the education they need. So we'll work on that. All of these here are just going to take one turn. I assume that they're all going to be close to the same amount. Well, I guess Ravenna has stupid amounts of production, so... Only 400 rush out there, shopping center, so we'll do that. I'm not sure if we want to get the public library or not. You know, I suppose knowledge is better than exploration XP, and if we got the education, which we do, that would uh, take it down some, though. It won't be the full 200%, though. So something to consider. But yeah, we have... Uh, one more foreign import slot now. And you know, I feel like we don't need improvement points anymore, so we need to like work these out of here. In fact, I had talked about doing this for everybody, I never did. Is that if you're gonna get production, then you should be getting, uh, you know, getting the tools. But they don't really need production at the moment either. And so, might wanna just get other stuff instead. Uh, could have them get more gold, so we can make use of that. Don't really need the, th well, let me take that back. They could use the sanitation. I know they have one panacea somewhere, one right there. So you might want to get another one, unless you just turn these into gold. So maybe do one tools here so we're not losing too much production. Two gold, two additional gold. So you get that uh, panacea. And then with the last one, probably some type of experience. Let's get the art experience. All right, so that looks good. And then we can go ahead and make use of, let me go over to Ravenna. Make use of that gold now to get another panacea. So we're gonna build that here. And then that should solve any uh, sanitation issues for quite some time as well as some food. Uh, that's no longer a problem either. All right, excellent. Uh, so do we want to brush out anything else? These ones are a little bit more expensive and you're gonna have a bunch of chaos events yeah, I think it's fine if we just hold on to it for now. Uh, we do need to invest this culture power. And I kind of feel like getting towns would be our best option. Towns for our vassal cities. Because if we look at this, a lot of them are capped out. 
on population. So like Hiroshima, we just put that here and they're already capped out because they were growing so quick. Uh, so in that case, you just want to grow their town, you know, expand it using the engineering XP. You can do that with Osaka as well. So as long as they have a town, you have that option. But if they don't, like say Carthage over here, then you'd have to give them a town. Nowhere really to give it to them. I'm just put one over here. <laughs> There's not a whole lot from the build in the desert. Uh, I guess you could go. You could go this way. Yeah, I feel like Yokohama should get all that. So you probably just put it over here somewhere. Well, there's really nowhere else, guys. Just have them expand that way. So yeah, you could do the town for, for Carthage. That would be an option. Uh, Austria, again, I don't know that we'll do any towns for them. Unless you're to put one over here. For them to expand that way. Yeah, maybe we'll do Austria. Why not? We have uh, had them as part of our empire for the longest, so I guess we'll do them. Invest in them just a little bit. Just so they can get their population up higher. As far as where, I don't really want them taking territory from uh, the Romans. And so I almost want them going like this way here. And I don't really care about their adjacency bonuses because uh, it's not our location. So I almost feel like just putting it here. So they expand that way. And you know, you get the, the road constructed this way as well. I don't really need a road right there, but yeah, it's there. And I suppose you also have the road here now. You can't see it. Well, there is a road there, I believe. Yeah, you can see it there. It's kind of difficult to see through the, uh, the deep forest. All right, so is there anything we need to do? We have the improvement points, but again, don't have any population to, to spend them on. Uh, we have a bunch of diplomacy XP, though, so we should spend that. So let's go ahead and do some more uh, merchants over here. Let's start moving those towards uh, French cities, though we don't know where any other ones are just yet. Nope. Okay. Could move by land over towards uh, Egyptian territory. Could just explore. I don't think we're at war with anybody, so even if you don't exactly know where you're going, could start moving the merchant over there. So yeah, we'll spawn uh, that merchant, and that's good enough for now. Let's just move to the next turn. I'm really hoping we can take over the Persian capital. This would be a very good vassal to have. And are they now at war with the Aztecs? It sure seems like it. Yes, sir. The Aztecs have attacked them. Okay, so it's only 1080 for the chaos. The chaos events. Okay, so that's not bad. I don't know, I was thinking it was going to be a little bit more expensive. But yeah, the uh, Aztecs are clearly at war again with uh, the Persians. I didn't even know that. Okay, so yeah, it was kind of a race to, to take their territory at this point. So Rome did get that shopping center, so we want to make sure that we take advantage of the foreign import slot. Yeah, currently getting that meat there for the culture. Could go ahead and get some more tools for production. And there's not really anything they need. So why not? More production, help them build faster. And we're going to go and get the warehouse. That'll give them the domestic export slots, but yeah, just give them 12 more production. And we'll get the public library after that, I suppose. And then Naples got their shopping center. And so the next thing we're going to do for them, maybe that warehouse, so they can construct everything faster. And then go ahead and assign this. Uh, also, we want to, to change up anything here. Of course, that's cost us all more money, but it's fine. Uh, the production is pretty decent here. But, uh, yeah, we can step it up a little bit more. And then we'll get the art experience, too. So we're getting military experience and art experience here at Naples. Yeah, because they don't need food or anything like that. Uh, Constantinople could rush this out for just 221, this museum, so let's go ahead and do that. Could get the shopping center next. Or the warehouse so we can build faster, I suppose we'll do that. Anything else we might want to rush out? Nah, that's, that's too expensive. Okay, that's probably it. So I'm just moving the merchants. I almost want to go this way. 
see what's over there because we know there's nothing anywhere near here. So maybe we'll go over this way. You know, I don't want to only settle in French cities because the French might, uh, you know, become unfriendly with us since we are suddenly near their territory. They're not going to be happy about that. I'm trying to destroy these guys, but just can't get to them. This is giving us a chance to heal up, but they won't heal up this turn because they're not in our territory anymore. Should have moved them into that jungle tunnel, probably. All right, so these guys are going up north to that location. Also, I'm covering all these clouds. All right, so again, we should just have the explorers do this attack. Let's let the hero get some rest. He deserves it. He's, he's old. He's really old. He's been fighting all his life. All right, so we're going to do this attack again. This should be enough to hopefully get it destroyed. Yeah, there we go. So we don't need improvement points. Obviously, we're stacked up, so we'll just take the well. Don't really need that either, but we'll take it. Main point of getting those destroyed is so they can't spawn any more of those barbarians. How are we doing on our Kana? We're at 95 at the moment, so we did spend some. So we do need to keep on collecting this here. And yeah, just go ahead and cover all this. You know, this side of France. And they have finally arrived. Oops, don't want to destroy them. I'm trying to get their Kana. Is there any other sources around here? There's one right there, but you know what? I almost don't want to go there. Because <laughs> we might get stuck there forever. Alright, so trying to do this again. We're 80% currently. I don't want to spend the engineering XP. Let's just dump it out and keep the 80%. Get more government XP. These guys are just chilling out here. And... All these ships, I'm like always trying to figure out what the hell they're doing each turn. Uh, there's another island over here. Let's go and uncover that real quick and then we'll we'll dip over here and see what's on this island. Looks like nothing. Nothing exciting. Alright, so these guys need to heal up. Let's go ahead and let them do that. Could also spend the expiration XP, I suppose. Get it done quicker. Because, uh, yeah, this would take, it'd take some time. And we have expiration XP, so why not just get it done? And unfortunately, we can't put them out to sea this turn. So we'll have them come over here next and deal with that barbarian camp. And so we can loot here. Hmm. Kind of want to let them weaken themselves. Maybe we go up from the north. Could attack this army as well, but like I said, I feel like having the Persians and Aztecs fight each other is the best way to go. And instead, come up from the north, make sure that we can attack. Yeah, I think that's the better way to go, guys. So let's go up here, and then this gets us across the river now. And so then we can attack down here. And we just have to hope they can't uh, win there. You know, they fought for years, and they were never able to get it done. Watch them now, finally, be successful. All right, so is there nothing else for uh, this guy to uncover? Some little patches over here. You already have a ship down there taking care of that for you. Yeah, I guess he's just about done here then. Okay. We've explored most of the seas. As you can see, there's you know the, the far southern part, a little up here in the north. Not much left to explore. Okay, so that's the notification. I was, I was wondering where it was because I, I could have swore that they were at peace. After that uh, long war, they had a, a good little chunk of peace. So we, we know we got the warehouses, we also got that textile mill. So we might want to spend some improvement points to upgrade our current improvements. Could get the administration two turns to finish up here. Hmm. That would get us another social fabric point. It's only two more turns. Let's just get it done, guys. Although you could do two more turns here and get these ones done as well. It's kind of like the same result. Either way, you get the social fabric points. All right, so I think we're good. We almost have the art experience to get the next community, which is what we're saving that for. Uh, we can get stuff here, but I, can't, I, don't, I don't know if any of these are, are worth it. Because this one, I'm worried this would re replace the current improvement, the trade post, which we don't have to spend any points to get. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm a little concerned about getting it. Uh, the claimed territory, I was going to do that somewhere. Uh, but let's, let's first go ahead and upgrade all of our weavers to textile mills. We'll use those improvement points. We know we have these dotted all over our territory. And so let's go ahead and actually take advantage of this new technology. Now, I don't think that required any more additional resources, or at least not having any shortages there. All right, I didn't notice any. So yeah, we should be good to go. We have a lot of access, actually. And so yeah, now we're earning 927 wealth per turn. And that is it as well, as far as uh, upgrade notes. Now, some of the locations we were waiting to build more, like here in Kyoto. And so we could do that because they have the, the, the guy in the poorhouse there. Okay, yeah, that's what we'll do. Let's go ahead and get the, the next textile mill. Get us even, even more money. Because yeah, we know that they, this is getting us these textiles, by the way. Yeah, we know that they had the cotton and the wool there. So they could even get one more of those if they had the population. So we're gonna begin preparing for our next town and that'll be here for Kyoto. We're gonna go ahead and purchase that tile and I'm thinking the town would be right here cause that would create a, a road that goes to Verona. So one, yeah, cause it'd be one, two, three, four, five. And so we do need that road going down here cause that's right now, there's no road that goes all the way from Rome down to Kyoto. Nor do we have a town, I think, that goes from Rome to Ravenna, unless you go around the long way. Because we don't have any uh, roads this way. And so, yeah, I really no efficient way to get down south. As we've seen, it takes forever for some of these units to move over there. And this guy got stuck. Of course they did. So go ahead and fix that. Get him moving over here. Yeah, I just hate that, that mechanic. All right, so I think we're ready to move to the next turn here. And we'll see if we can't take the Persian capital. I don't know if the Aztecs will be successful. They look pretty weak. And there's all those armies down there as well. It's so hard to say. A lot of French armies sitting around the, the Sahara there. Certainly a bit of a threat. If they wanted to be. Alright, so these guys... Yeah, I suppose we'll go down to the Chinese area here. Just hope nobody attacks us. And so where do we want to establish? Could establish here or on the edge. You want to make sure you're not establishing on this location. You establish there, you're close to the fish. Might be better just establish on the edge. Because there's, there's just nothing here. Yeah. And they'll eventually spread over to this area. Again, it's not going to be a good location for a, a city. But it is what it is. Alright, so they actually went where I wanted them to go here. So they get that uh, train bonus. But yeah, I want them to go over there because I should push them over to here. Now they can't bombard, unfortunately, because they don't have the towers here. Yeah, they don't really have anywhere good to go now, unless they go this way. I'm hoping I get them destroyed. I knew they would retreat though. All right, so taking a look, their keep is damaged, as are their stone towers. Can't really see any damage to the city militia, so they may not even gotten beyond that as far as if we were to attack we wouldn't destroy it and so we weaken it and the Aztecs could then destroy it so we should probably just sit here and wait until it gets further weakened by the Aztecs attacking here I wish I could go close but then they would just bombard us I'm curious what's over here we need like a scout or something to scout this area out so yeah let's just go and have them skip their turn for now and you know what? I think we have... Damn, we got that army sitting there. Let me fix that while I'm thinking about it. Yeah, these guys are just sitting here. I didn't even think about it because uh, they don't have anywhere to move, so they're not giving us a notification. They, they healed up, and that was important. They didn't need to heal, but they've probably been healed for quite some time, guys. But they'll notify us now. All right, so we're coming over here to set up a vassal city. And that guy's healing up, and... There's nothing else to do here. Okay. So we'll just go there and then just let them heal up. And they'll wait for their their passengers. Alright, so exploring around this island here. So I guess we'll go over here. 
Could be another island somewhere in this little hatch, who knows. And then they're gonna join Kyoto. Make sure that uh, unrest doesn't become an issue there. Alright, so let's go ahead and heal them again. And then do this attack. And they'll just wait. And they're just coming to reveal that patch. And now I don't think they have anything to do. Uh, I guess there's another patch here we can reveal. They could just sail around and fight barbarians, I suppose. Get experience. That would always be an option. What are these guys doing? Come up around here, I suppose. I don't know. That's what they're doing now. Alright, she is getting us more Arcana. Not seeing any other locations. Well, there's one right there. Yeah, I guess we'll go over there next. And plenty over here. Got that next turn. And they're just revealing this side of the continent here. Whoa, there's a lot of units over here. So there's two social fabrics we can get that I'm noticing. We can get both organization and community. So now negative 10 on rest here and negative 10% for the expansion cost. And I guess we'll get tolerance. Yeah. We're so close to it, might as well. One more turn. Yeah, not the most exciting of them, but... Can we get her out of there so I don't forget about it? Oh, and she's just into somebody else. <laughs> That's great. I will try to remember she's there, guys. I will try. You know I'm going to forget. She'll be there forever. Alright, so there's a sandstorm here. This is the third phase. 80% chance currently, so... I don't really want to use engineering XP. Let's just go with that. And hopefully we don't lose the 20%. Maybe we'll be sitting on 100% for the next one. Um, so, Ravenna can rush out that public library for 580. How are we doing on gold? We're doing fantastic. Okay, so we're going to rush that out. And then get the warehouse next. And then Gaul can rush out their museum. So we're going to do that. And that gets us that uh, luxury as well. And with the museum, we can go ahead and do the alchemy school if we want to. Sure, why not? We're going to do that. And is that all the Russian that we want to do? I think so. Anything else we want to spend here? Not really. Uh, well, you know what? We could expand towns. Especially for uh, vassals. Uh, we, we do have towns that we need to expand for our cities, though. So I, I did all these ones. There's at least one down here that has not been expanded. So could do that. I thought there was another one, too, though. I might be wrong, though. If there is, I don't know where it is. So let's just work on this one. So that's the first one we'll do here. So expand them, and that allow us to make them a, another farming down, I suppose. <laughs> More food that Kyoto doesn't need. All right, so I believe we're good to go. Again, population still our limitation everywhere. And we could take another vassal city and, and uh, integrate it, but again, I feel like integrating here would be good. We got to win there, of course, which. You can see the Aztecs are trying hard to get it. Yeah, I think they're currently bombarding the city. That's what they're doing there. Uh, because uh, if you've got artillery or catapults or whatever, then they can do that. All right, so they have landed. So we'll take a look. You know what? Before I forget, guys, I remembered. <laughs> so let's take advantage of me remembering and go ahead and gather up these, these resources here. All right, so hopefully we complete this. Oh, are you kidding me? We got the negative 20% there. Of course we did. So now we're at 60%, we might lose this guy too. We'll go ahead and try it anyways. Uh, 100 warfare experience we succeed, plus the culture. Hey, we were actually successful. Nice. Okay, so with the diplomacy, let's take the tolerance, and then we'll, we'll use that culture point in a little bit. Yeah, we don't want to settle here with our merchants. Ah, we gotta go across jungles. It's gonna be slow going, guys. It's better to know where you're going to send your merchant. Much better to know. Alright, so we'll set up the city here in the next turn. Create a new vassal. And let's go ahead and wipe out these explorers. Alright, so they've been destroyed. And then these guys are going to be setting up, I don't know, right here maybe. 
So we want to make sure that it's not just the settler, just in case. So put our hero on there too, with the settler. Don't need the pioneer though. And then we'll set that up next turn as well. Alright, so just waiting for these guys here still. See if there's anything over here. Taking a while to load us uncovering that. Uh, these guys, they could probably get this done. And we'll have them come over here to escort them off once they're healed up. Alright, so let's take a look and see how it's going here. They are just about done. The city militia, there's only one left. The rest are all dead. With 84.44% health. The stone towers are at a quarter health. The keep is at 10% health. And we're just going to waltz on in here and seize it from the Aztecs who have fought hard for this location. And have wanted it for years. They are going to hate us. <laughs> Killed 10 population, 20 chaos gained. A lot of wealth as well. Oh uh, yeah, they are absolutely going to hate us. And now we can already do a capital attack here. Use their own stone towers against them. So just absolutely devastating to the Persians. We have taken their capital, or what I expect to have been their capital. Because again, you can't go off of, you know, the if it's their capital historically. Because that's not always the case. Just kind of depends on what they randomly get. Alright, so these guys, we don't want them going that way. Hmm. Can they, they can get all the way over here. And we'll get that little Arcana source there. Yeah, this is terrible gameplay, by the way. I know some of you guys have expressed the same, that you have not been impressed with this aspect of the game for the Age of Alchemy. Not the best. Uh, so because we finished up the attack, we have a social fabric point. So could continue to invest in the community for the unrest reduction. Uh, we also haven't gotten any of the upkeep cost reduction though. So that's something to consider. Improvement costs now not as important. Uh, of course it applies to specialists too, I believe. So still helpful, but uh, probably not, not the thing we want to get. I think community, yeah, probably community. We eventually get this here. Let's just get this uh, a little bit more, because we can actually be using the arts points for something else with the spawn artists, and so that'd be good to have. All right, so we did finish up this tech, and that just lets us use a uh, culture power to get a social fabric wild card. So if we got nothing else to get, then it's an option. Let's go ahead and invest the two turns, guys. Go to get these, just get one more social fabric point, which will then reduce the upkeep, because currently we're spending Let's take a look, 328 on unit upkeep. So yeah, it'd be useful to not be spending as much. Uh, let's go ahead and rush out. You know what, actually let's not rush anything out for Rome because they're so far ahead. If we're gonna rush anything out, it should be for cities that are you know a little bit more behind. We don't wanna drop too much on it. I know we got a nice little stack of money here. So this would be the cheapest the warehouse for Constantinople, so we'll get that. Because this is the first one they have, this is a two plus knowledge of one expiration XP. So it makes sense going to get that now. So yeah, we'll do that. And then I believe this is our first uh, domestic export slots. And so the way, the way this works is you take one of the resources that you have in the city, and you select what you want to trade, and then you select the region you want to trade it to, and then you can send uh, up to two goods in this case, eventually that'll uh, increase to one other region. I don't really know what we'd exactly do besides moving production around. And not even with Constantinople, we don't want to move anything there. Nobody needs food. I think everybody can satisfy their own food needs right now. So you don't need to move food around. So really just production is the only thing I can see moving to some of the locations that have the lower production, but most of our places have great production. Look at Constantinople. Look at Gaul. Yeah, I mean, they're great. We know Ravenna and Rome have great production. Uh, Naples is actually, I think, decent. Yeah, pretty good too. And so it's really only Kyoto. 
with the 57 production. You know, because we're trading for tools, and uh, that's giving us eight production for each of these, and we're still only at 57. So they do have production issues here. So really only Kyoto could really benefit from getting uh, a trade good from somewhere. And so like somewhere that had really high production, like Ravenna, I could see trading you know, a little bit of their production over to Kyoto. So we already know what we're gonna do with this culture power. You know, we're focusing on Kyoto with it actually. Uh, we're gonna go and create this town. We're gonna create it right here. I mean, you could, you know, try and put it here. I mean, there's, there's no, it doesn't really matter, guys. I think we're just gonna put it here. And that'll give us the road that we need there to connect it with uh, Verona. And that's it. Uh, we might want to get rid of the forest tile here. I think this might be a bug where the roads still give you the bonus for moving through them. Uh, so you still get that bonus for being on the road. However, you still have to pay the cost of going through special types of terrain, like forest. It doesn't make any sense, because I mean, you're on a road, what's it matter if the road is going through the forest or going through the grassland, it's still a road. I mean, you can make the argument that, oh, forest, uh, you know, sometimes the trees will fall onto the road or something, I don't know, but the purpose of the road is to keep the, the speed the same. So yeah, I don't know, uh, I don't know why they would do that purposely. It seems like it's gotta be a bug. And so getting rid of the forest here would help speed up any travel, so we might, do the clear cut there and get rid of that forest tile. Even though this will likely go to Kyoto and they could use more production. But uh, yeah, uh, it's not gonna make a huge difference, guys. Also, if uh, you didn't know this yet, you cannot construct the foresters in the jungle. I've had several people comment like, oh, why didn't you put this town here in the jungle so you could do the foresters around it and that would fix Kyoto's production. Uh, that's the reason why, because these aren't useful for anything other than destroying them. Just getting rid of them because yeah, you can't you can't build the foresters there in the jungle and so you basically want to get rid of jungles there's really no purpose of, of having them unlike a civilization where jungles would grant a few different things you know you get uh, a science form now there is of course one exception where jungles are useful and that's what the the war priest uh, national spirit this one gives you some some big bonuses for jungles and you can Construct different improvements on jungles. So yeah, this is uh, the one exception I can think of where you actually do want to keep your jungles. And you can only go that route if you're going with a religion, if you have a religion. All right, so unfortunately we do have to end the episode here. I was hoping that we'd get all the way through the Age of Alchemy, but with the war going, we are taking more turns and the expiration and all the stuff we're doing there. It's all taking a lot more turns, uh, but we already have taken three of the Persian cities and so now we'll be moving to the next locations down here so it's all gonna be going south so you got one army going this way and one going over this way goal it will be to try and take them all over but we are competing with the Aztecs here as you can see they have a relatively large army here now the Aztecs are not playing around we're currently getting 2.8 so again that will continue to be more and more of an issue and so we do need to focus on getting this conflict done uh, with the two armies moving after there, it looks like they have two, three, six cities. Yeah, they have six cities. So those two armies and then a third army will eventually be able to make their way down here. Yeah, we should be able to get it done. It's just really just movement time. That's going to be the problem. I almost feel like we should move by sea. It's kind of risky, though, because a barbarian unit could destroy us. But if we move by sea, you can land right here and attack them. And it's quicker than going all the way around here with this army. That'd be an option. Yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy today's episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next one, and thanks for watching.